Hello Internet people! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get a template for Google Analytics reports that you can send to your clients or stakeholders. And the best part, it is fully automatic after initial setup. And if you want to take it to the next level, I'll show you how you can copy an awesome report template with Google Data Studio, where you can customize the colors, add a logo and share it with your clients. Arnie, how do you feel about that? When people are very sensitive. I know, exciting stuff. Tip sweat punch. All right. Before we start, I just want to mention that I'll be using demo account of Google Analytics, which is actually real data from Google Merchandise Shop. You can get access to it by clicking on the link in the description. You could just send an email with any of the standard or custom reports to your clients or stakeholders, but in most cases, those will be too detailed or missing on some key performance indicators. Luckily for us, we don't need to build the dashboard from scratch and we will use Michael Wiegand's perfect dashboard as a starting point. I only tweaked it slightly by adding a few useful metrics and there are two options for you, one for e-commerce site and one for lead generation or content website. They are almost the same, but the e-commerce dashboard has additional web shop related metrics. You can copy the dashboard into your GA by clicking on the link in the description, a page where you can choose to which GA view you want to apply this report to will appear. Just choose your website in the dropdown, then it will load the dashboard. Arnie, how does your dashboard look like? I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Let's take a look at the dashboard. As you can see, it is really simple, but it mentions the most relevant KPIs of your website. The left column has the revenue, transactions, conversion rate, average order value, and some other metrics in there as well. The middle column is dedicated to split in the channels and top landing pages. And the right one has top non-branded keywords and top referrers. And if you take a look at the lead generation report, it's almost the same, but the e-commerce metrics have been replaced with the goal metrics, which you need to set up yourself for this to work. If you need to edit any of these, just hover over them and click on the edit icon. You can also delete them here. And if you need another widget, just click on the add widget in the top left corner and give the widget a name. Then select how you want to visualize it and select a metric from the drop down. You can also filter the data in any way you want, for example, showing page views only for mobile traffic. Or you can filter on sexy bill, cuddling a computer. After you're happy with the dashboard, you can send this dashboard in an email, and this can be automated. So here at top, click on email, type in the email you want to send this report to, then give it a subject line. Next, you can set how often the email is sent. There are a few options. Let's take once a week. You will get to choose on what days it will be sent. Under advanced options, you can set how long is this email report active. Then you can add the email text. Oh, by the way, if you ever need to update some settings for this email address, just click on the add to existing email link here on the right. And lastly, do the recapture and click on send. Arnie, show them how it's done. May I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. As you can see, the person who you sent this email to will receive an email like this with PDF of the report like this one here. As you can see, this report is basically a screenshot of the dashboard which it makes it perfect for clients or stakeholders as you can keep it simple and to the point. And if you ever need to delete this email, just go to admin panel, under the GA view, click on the scheduled emails. And if you click on the actions drop down, you will have an option to either extend it or delete. You lie! Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now, the Google Analytics dashboard is nice and simple, but you can't really style it or anything like that. This is where Google Data Studio comes in. It's free and you can really build a next level dashboard and report with it. Here are a few examples of my favorite ones. As you can see, you can add logos, 
and change colors and really make it so that it matches your client's brand colors and just spice up things here and there. You can check out my favorites in the description after you finish this video. But let me show you how you can apply this to your Google Analytics account. Once you click on the link, you will see the report in Data Studio. Go to the top and click on the copy icon. You'll get this Get Started with Google Data Studio pop-up. If you haven't used Data Studio before, just accept the terms if you agree with them and set the email settings and then you should be good. So to copy the report, you need to select a data source. And in, in our case, you need to select the create new data source since we don't have anything yet. Then select Google Analytics and authorize Google Data Studio to use your Google account. And soon you will start receiving calls like this. Excuse me, I have a few more questions if you don't mind. Okay. Where's John Connor? I'm sorry, who's who? John Connor. Next, select the account, property, and view you want to use. Oh yeah, and don't forget to give the name for this data source. And click on connect at the top right corner. On the next page, you'll be able to check if the data in the report template is matching with your Google Analytics data. Most of the templates will be okay. One thing to watch out is for the goals, as this is really depending on your setup, but you can adjust them later if needed. Then click on add to report button here on top right. Okay, this means you've created new data source now. And one more time, click on copy report. And this time you should see that Google has created a copy of the report. You can see it here on the top, the name is actually has a prefix of copy. You can now edit this report, change the name and colors and stuff like that in your full control. For a complete video about how to use Google Data Studio, check the video that appears on your screen now in your top right hand corner. Oh really? Next, let's set up an automated email report for your Data Studio dashboard. You can do this by clicking on the clock icon at the top of the report, then add who will receive the email, choose the time when you want it to be sent and how often it will be sent. I want this report once a week. Then click on schedule. You and your clients will now receive this report via email. And here is how the email looks like. You have the same report as in Data Studio, but as a PDF attachment. As you can see, it looks really nice. You can even have multiple pages if you set up your report like that. Happy client, happy life. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos related to GA that I think you should watch next. Oh,